so now we're going to look at the transformed area approach. So this is a an alternate approach for finding um, a load versus strain response uh, for the linear elastic region. So this is only valid in the linear elastic region. So what we do is we'll start with our equilibrium expression. So we'll have our, our concrete load plus our steel load equal to our total load. So then we can plug in um, our AC, uh, our area concrete times the, the stress in the concrete plus our area in steel times the stress in the steel equal to P total. So we know that our uh, strains are equal in our concrete and steel, so we can say that uh, EC um, sorry, EC over FC is equal to uh, ES over FS. So then we can solve for FS and we'll find that our FS is equal to our um, ES over EC times our FC. So plugging this into our equation here then we have AC uh, FC plus AS times ES over EC times FC equals our P total. So we can then define our modular ratio equal to ES over EC. Uh, plug that into our expression and factor out our FC and we'll get AC plus N times AS times FC equals our P total. Then if we move one of our steel areas over to our concrete, we can get our gross area plus N minus one times AS times FC equals P total. So um, what we're essentially doing, and sorry, this is the um, transformed area. So what we're essentially doing is we're saying before we have a concrete material we have a steel material. So we're saying that this equals our concrete material plus a transformed area or an equivalent area of our steel material, which will give us our final transform section. Um, that we can use, or we can assume is all concrete and treat as all concrete. Um, so if we plug in our uh, relationship for FC, using Hooke's Law, and then we can find that our transformed area times our modulus times the strain in our section equals our total load. Um, and this is a uh, straightforward expression that we can use then to find our strain load response, uh, assuming uh, once again that we have um, linear elastic behavior in both materials.